Davis with the Ulster County Regional Chamber of Commerce and I want to welcome you to another episode of Just Delicious. Today we're in the village of Sogarty's at the Dutch Ale House. Hi, I'm Dallas Gilpin. Welcome to the Dutch Ale House. It's a wonderful Friday night and I'm so excited to be here with you. My husband Ted and I bought the Dutch in 2018. It is a beloved Sogarty's institution. We're gonna have some dinner and drinks and some fun. We have outdoor seating, indoor seating, takeout. First up are the fish and chips, and I'm really excited about these. I saw these on the Facebook advertisement for Dutch Ale House the other day, and I said, oh my gosh, those fish and chips look incredible. Check out this ear battered fried fish. Ooh, it's still steaming hot. Check out that beer batter. And that crunch. Wow. This crispy chicken sandwich, and I mean seasoned southern crispy fried chicken sandwich has the most incredible Asian flair to it. It's that creamy sesame chili aioli. It is absolutely delicious. This is a big win for me. I'm coming back for this one. If you've been to the Dutch Ale House, then you probably know about these truffle fries. If you haven't yet been here and you're on your way, be sure to add these to your order. Next up is this smash burger. It's a double cheeseburger on a sesame bun with a special sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles. There's only one way to do this. This Dutch burger is double the burger, double the cheese, and double the delicious. You need to see this onion blossom up close. It is picture perfect topped with a creamy cheese sauce, a spicy aioli sprinkled with cheese. I am so excited about this next dish. It's the house-made spatzel dumplings, creamy cheese sauce with peas, mushrooms. Look at that. Mm. My last entree is this whole rack of smoked baby back ribs with two huge pieces of jalapeno cornbread. As soon as I go to take a bite, that jalapeno hits my nose. That sweet corn. Mm. Cornbread is good. Look at those ribs. They are fall off the bone good. Getting messy again. So good. Slow cooked. Little bit of sweet, little bit of spice on the rub. Tell us about the world famous Dutch Mug Club. I'm, uh, I'm an original member of the uh, Mug Club. I don't know how many mugs they have here. Probably over uh, 100. My mug is uh, 39. Uh, new people have specials. They close the place, and it's only open up to the uh, to the mug club people. And I still think there's a, a waiting list to get on the uh, the mug club. I'm Hank Burkhalter, and this is the Dutch Ale House. You know, we have socially distant dining inside, and if you feel more comfortable, we also have our back patio. We set up a lovely tent. We're going to have live music on Friday night. Um, we'll have a little pop-up bar back there. Last year we had a rockin', rockin' summer uh, out in the tent, and it's going to be even better this year. And we are just thrilled to have you. We're kicking off dessert with a butterscotch pudding. It's a house-made pudding with a honeycomb crackle on top and fresh whipped cream. I already snuck a little bite of this. Whenever I see pudding or custard, I want to try it. This is so unique. Wow. 
This reminds me of being a kid and getting my mom to make like the box butterscotch pudding, but elevated to that next level. Okay, Ulster Eateries, I know you're always looking for a good piece of cheesecake. I'm here to tell you the Dutch Ale House has a really good slice of blueberry cheesecake. It's creamy, cheesy, buttery graham cracker crust with a blueberry sauce on top with big fresh blueberries inside that just pops in your mouth. And just like everything here at the Dutch Ale House in Saturdays, it's just delicious. Visit us at the Dutch. We're 253 Main Street in Saugerties.